Did you know you can buy a business for a million dollars, pay yourself a salary of a hundred thousand dollars a year, and in year one get a return on investment of over 14 percent? Well, you can. So if you're a prospective buyer, stick around. You might find this episode helpful. As always, if you've got questions as we go through this presentation, leave them in the comments section below and I will get back to you. Or you can just email me at brentf at the cbbgroup.com. As well as if you get something out of this episode, please hit like and subscribe. And with that, let's get started. So let's set the table for this uh, presentation or discussion. You've got a million dollar business that has a seller's discretionary earnings of $375,000 a year. Now, you're gonna put a 10% down uh, to qualify for an SBA loan, which would be $100,000, and we've structured it to where the seller's also gonna take a 5% seller note at uh, $50,000, giving you a total SBA loan of $850,000. The other thing we're going to do is figure in uh, an owner's compensation of $100,000 per year. So with those parameters, let's take a look at the costs associated with putting this transaction together. So let's take a look at the major costs associated with purchasing a million dollar business. The first one, which is no surprise, is the 10% down payment, or it's $100,000. The second piece is the fees associated with the loan. So again, we're looking at getting an $850,000 SBA loan, and let's go through those fees. The first one is the 1% SBA loan guarantee fee. Now, for loans between a half a million and $1 million, there's a 1% loan fee or guarantee fee that's actually added to the loan at closing. And that, in this case, is $8,500. There'll be a business appraisal, which is gonna be plus or minus $500 at around 3,000. They'll do a residential appraisal on your home. And remember, you're going to personally guarantee uh, this loan and the SBA will want to, if you have equity in your home, they'll also lien the home uh, to make up for that personal guarantee. And then now some lenders have what we call a legal review fee. Now, uh, some of the West Coast lenders do this in house, but if you're dealing with a lender that's primarily East Coast driven, they may have an outside attorney review the purchase and sale agreement or stock agreement to make sure that it complies with SBA guidelines. And that'll be around $4,000 for a transaction of this size. And then a site inspection. Believe it or not, the bank's going to hire somebody or send one of their loan officers out to actually do a physical inspection of the business. And this is really to make sure the business exists, um, the inventory, uh, furniture, fixtures, just that it's in good operating order, or at least as being represented. Um, this is really a fraud thing uh, where uh, the banks in the past have been caught uh, lending on businesses that simply didn't exist. So the total of these fees are around $16,350. The next two categories of costs for uh, a buyer are really around your trusted advisors, which usually on a transaction this size really just involves your attorney which he or she will be responsible for drafting the purchase and sell or asset purchase agreement. And again, for a transaction this size, it's plus or minus maybe a thousand bucks. What we see is a fee of around 5,500. And then lastly, closing fees. Depending on what part of the country you're in, 
you will either use an escrow company or a closing attorney. Um, and the fees for a business that about a million bucks are around $1,200, at least here on the West Coast. And then uh, recording fees and title policy fees. Remember, the lender is going to want to put a lien on your house for part of that personal guarantee. And to do that, they'll need a title policy and recording fees. So those together are about $2,000. In summary, the total of the cost to actually purchase a million dollar business break down as $100,000 for your down payment, $16,350 for the SBA loan fees, the buyer's trusted advisor or attorney of around $5,500, and closing costs of $2,000, whether it be for an escrow company or a closing attorney. Add those together, you're in at around $123,850, again, plus or minus. Now, let's talk about the total cash to close, because it's not the same as the total cost. We remember we have $123,850, and you will be allowed to finance the SBA loan guarantee fee of $8,500, giving you a total cash to close out of pocket of $115,350 in this example. In order to calculate the return on investment, we've got to do a couple things. And the first is to calculate the payment stream of both the SBA loan and the seller note. So today is June 19th when I'm putting this video together and currently SBA um, is charging about between 10 and 11% uh, for a 10 year loan. So let's use 10% um, over a 10 year amortization and that'll give you a principal and interest payment of $11,345. The seller note over that same 10 year note uh, period with an interest rate of 8% would be $606 for a total PI for this million dollar purchase of $11,951. The second step we're gonna to put together is to go through the debt coverage ratio. And to do that, we're gonna take the SBA loan of 11345 add to that the seller note of $606, and then put in your owner's compensation. Remember at the beginning of this uh, video, we talked about the owner compensation looking for $100,000 a year, or in this case, $8,333 a month. Now add those three up, the $11,345, the $606, and the $8,000, 333, you come up with a total of $20,284. The total cash flow, if you remember, was the uh, $375,000 divided by 12, or $31,250 a month, which gives you, when you take the total of the payments and sell owner's compensation away from the SDE or cash flow of the business, you come up with a net cash flow of $10,966 a month, or a debt service coverage ratio of 1.54 to 1. So let's take a look at the next step in putting your return on investment together. The final step to calculate the return on investment is to take the net cash flow on a monthly basis and times that by 12 to get an annualized number of 131,588. So you take the total cash to close number, i.e. your investment, and you take that away from the annualized net cash flow and you get a net return of $16,233 or a return on investment of 14.08%. So there you have it. Buying a business for a million dollars, 
paying yourself a salary of $100,000 and getting a return year one on your investment of over 14%, not a bad situation. If you've got questions that you'd like to address to either Bill or I on how we came up with these numbers and how would it apply to any business that you're looking at, just let us know. We're more than happy to spend a couple minutes with you going through the numbers and the calculations. As always, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you on the next episode.